Milk tea is now an important part of Hong Kong culture, but it was only introduced by the British when Hong Kong became a colony in 1842. Back in the day, drinks such as milk tea and coffee were only available in hotels or fancy restaurants. The bland flavor of the British version of milk tea also failed to appeal to the Chinese populace. However, in the 1940s, a local version of the beverage emerged. Hong Kongers fondly called it pantyhose milk tea. The raw materials used to brew up such a cup of tea include black tea, boiling water, and evaporated milk. It also involves a complicated process of blending tea leaves and tea brewing. But as every tea specialist has their own way of preparing the drink, there are no standards for what qualifies as proper Hong Kong-style milk tea. That's why milk tea made by different tea specialists will always be unique. Lum Chen Yip, the son of the founder of the famous Lan Fang Yun restaurant, said his father grew up around Winglong Pier. There, he would often receive foreign tea leaves as souvenirs from sailors returning to the city. Most of the tea came from Britain, India, and Sri Lanka. After he tried mixing the tea leaves, he found the perfect flavor, and very soon he started his own milk tea business. As Hong Kong-style milk tea is also called pantyhose milk tea, many wonder where the pantyhose came from. At the time, my parents were still unmarried. My mother, like most women then, was good at needlework, so she made a bag to hold the tea leaves that could reach the bottom of the teapot and had the shape of a sharp object. But we needed something with higher density, so eventually we made the bag out of cotton padded jackets. But what's the origin of the nickname? The cotton padded jacket was originally white, but after brewing tea time and time again, the bag eventually turned brownish. Customers found the look of the bag fascinating and believed that it resembled a pantyhose, and that was how the pantyhose milk tea was born. During the early 50s, a cup of Hong Kong-style milk tea cost up to 20 cents. That was twice the price of a standard breakfast, as it was considered trendy and Western. Throughout the decade, Hong Kong's population exploded in numbers. The government had to issue more restaurant licenses to cope with the demand. Traditional milk tea serving outlets such as casual restaurants and Dai Pai Dongs became more widespread. As a drink near and dear to every Hong Konger's heart, the pantyhose milk tea was officially listed as the city's intangible cultural heritage in 2014.